Welcome to another Battlefield 3 High Definition multiplayer gameplay uh, commentary brought to you by Winch here. Uh, this time playing the Recon class and have some tips for you on what I think the Recon class can bring to the table. And uh, this video I'm running the uh, again the Recon class with the MAV uh, and uh, that is the unmanned aerial vehicle. And uh, Basically, that's exclusively what I'm bringing you here in this match. I want to show you how this vehicle, or how this uh, this perk with the recon class can be a game changer, and it can really supplement and help your team win a match very quickly. And now you're not going to be the hero in this match. Uh, you're not going to be, of course, the point leader, but you are going to get a lot of points. I mean, I think I get about 1,600 points in this match with uh, my numerous ribbons and all that, but I get no kills. But again, I'm not trying to be uh, the number one player, which I normally am. <laughs> but uh, I want to demonstrate to you in this match why this this is so important, uh, this little MAV UAV thing. Um, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, you may think it's not fun getting kills. I mean, you're not going to get kills. It has no weapons on it. A lot of people try, and you'll see me later in the match. I, I just try to get kills. I'll watch this. Boom! Yes, sir! That was a triple kill that my teammate just threw a grenade right on the stairwell that spotted those three guys I got and took out of all three of them with one grenade. Oh, that was epic right there, buddy. Very nice, very nice. Um, again, it, it's, it's, uh, you're not getting kills, and it doesn't have any guns on it, and a lot of people try to like run into other players, and you'll see me later in the match try to do that, um, to get like a road kill with this thing. I don't know how people do it, but uh, that's not its design, so stop, I, I stop screwing around with that real quick. Um, yeah, this is its, its design. Look at this. I'm right next to a tank, and I'm spotting. Uh, I'm basically another set of eyes for this tank. I can see everything with this thing. This is what this thing's good for. Uh, spotting other teammates, you know, spotting uh, tanks, anything. You spot everything with this thing. It's got uh, two zoom options on it, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun. You're just kind of sitting back, and it's like you got a front row seat to everything going on in this match. You know everything. You know where everybody's at. You can communicate that with the headset. You can spot them, help your teammates out, so everybody on your team will see these little guys when you hit the select key and you spot them. And you get points for that. And, it, and also, when you're in proximity to enemies, it's also like a motion detector, so it gives you a live streaming um, situation map for your teammates to see on their mini map where everybody's at. And if you couple this with somebody that's got like a mortar strike and a support class, oh my god. I had that later on in the match, or not this match, but another one. I didn't have any footage of it, but I was calling in basically coordinates for the mortar guy, and he was just mopping the team. I mean, it was awesome, a lot of fun. And and this uh, map right here, you can see I'm spotting the team uh, enemies around my uh, teammate's tank. So he's sitting back, and he's just letting me spot them, and then he just kind of shoots a tank shell wherever he thinks they're at with that with that spotted triangle that's on top of them, and they're dead. I mean, they don't stand a chance. That's how important this little. Uh, UAV is. It's hard as hell to take down two. I think I only had it shot down once in this match, and the rest of it I just spend, you know, basically the rest of this match right here in this footage you're seeing now. Um, really hard to shoot down. You only get one of them though, so if, if they do shoot it down, I think you have to go retrieve it. Or, I mean, if you leave it, you gotta go retrieve it, but if you die, you can just you know, redeploy another one. Um, pretty tough little thing, and again, most of the teammates or enemy teammates enemy players just don't give you that much attention which is a big mistake on their part because this is a lethal little piece of equipment I mean very very powerful not many people use it I wish they used it more because it would really help me out a lot especially on maps where you know kind of close quarters like this uh, it's hard to spot guys a lot of cover you know especially even on the big maps too if you're in an airplane or tank or whatever helicopter you got somebody running this on the on the recon side. Oh my God! It would help me so much to be in a helicopter and spot guy. You have guys spotted for me already, and I would just you know bring down the rain of terror from the air. Uh, very important that you spot people. You know, even if you don't have this, you know, if you see somebody I mean, you're middle shooting them, always spot them because it's going to help you in the long run. And I kind of just hover around this point. I mean, on the map, we pretty much have all the other points locked down, and the team's really trying to try, trying to push on from this position, from Delta. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they're just really not being very successful. And I think I, I attribute that to basically me, t you know, spotting them on, on the map. Everybody knows where they're at. And, 
Whether it take, takes them out or my teammates, you know, they don't get far. You know, take the time to go spot the vehicle if you can. I, I wish this thing had a gun on it. That would be a heck of a lot more fun. Kind of like it did in Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2. Uh, that was my favorite vehicle by far, but I think it'd probably make it way too overpowered if that was the case. If it had a little mini gun on it, but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe just a light mini cannon on it that'd take a lot of bullets to put somebody down. It'd be, be kind of a lot more fun to be able to shoot people with this thing, but even then, it's still a lot of fun to be able to spot these guys. And just, again, sit back and watch the map. You know, watch the map. The map that is unfolded in front of your eyes, and just feel like you're just, you know, you're right in the thick of the battle. And it's just, as you saw, I saw that triple kill, and then later in the, at the end of the match, you'll see me kind of see what's going to happen. I basically see a guy and spot him, and my teammate runs up behind him and knifes him. And, you know, again, it's all attributed to you spotting that guy. So, you know, you're directly involved in the action, even though you're not getting any kills. A lot of fun. I don't know why, but. Uh, and it's just it's rewarding to know that you are a valuable part of, of the probably the, the most valuable part of the match even though you're not getting all the kills you see that tank guy would have seen that guy you know laying prone there for more for me spotting him and just made quick work of him especially when you got engineers on top of this position here shooting rockets at the tank and everything the fact that I was spotting him makes it so much easier for the tank to identify where those engineers are and take them out quick you know and, and and stay un uncovered because that's the main advantage of the tank. The tank should never get, you know, point blank range with an enemy. If, if he has, he's you're making a mistake because that's how tanks get destroyed. You know, they, they get too close to the action and then they get, you know, multiple RPGs hitting them from all directions. Or a guy running up, putting C4 on it, and you know, that's what takes the tank out real quick. So the fact that this guy's doing it right, he's sitting back there, let me spot him. He's using the rage of the tank to his advantage and the, and the auto cannon. And he's just, you know, laying waste to these guys. I don't know how many kills this guy in the tank gets, but he gets a lot. But again, that's because I'm, I'm supplementing his success. And I'm sharing in it as well. I'm getting points here by spotting guys, getting spot assists, getting motion assists. Again, I get, I think, 1,600 points, which is, puts me about in the middle of the score, I think, in the final scoring, which you'll see at the end. That's pretty good for not having any kills, you know. There's guys on our team that ran, you know, I don't know, four kills and 12 deaths, you know, way there, down there. I mean, they, they, those guys do us more harm than anything. You know, they don't be a part of the team. Uh, they go out and they try to do their own thing. They, they, they don't use teamwork. They don't use intelligence. And unfortunately, that's what you see a lot of in this game. And uh, it, it's not how you play this game, guys. You want to use teammate teamwork. You know, use whatever equipment your your specialty has. Like if, like I said, if it had, if we had a support class in our team or our squad here. That was running the mortar strike in combination with me running this. Oh my god! I mean, we would just—it would have been devastating because you would have had a live streaming footage basically on your map with that mortar strike capability, and um, you'd know exactly where to put those rounds and you kill a lot, a lot of kills, which I did later on. And again, like I mentioned or later on today, pretty darn neat. Especially when you got a headset on, you're talking to the guy running the mortar, and you're like, okay, put put another round just to the right of where you just, you know, put that one, and it, <laughs> that they listen to you, and it's just amazing, you know, it's awesome, it's instant gratification, it's really neat. Um, again, I've never had that kind of experience with Call of Duty, and as I seem to keep mentioning here in all these videos, uh, how disappointed I am with Modern Warfare 3, and how, you know, I'm a converted Modern Warfare basically a converted Call of Duty player to this game now. I mean, look at this. Look at these environments, how everything's just destroyed. We got rubble everywhere from RPGs and tank blasts and little fires everywhere. I mean, just look at the little details in this game are just... I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, this game it is perfect. I mean, really. This is the definition of a perfect game. I, I mean, not, like unlike anything I've ever played. If you're not playing this game, then... Uh, you shouldn't be playing first-person shooters because this is by far the best one ever. All right, back to the map here and the uh, commentary. Uh, you know, I've pretty much touched on the high points of it here. Um, you're just kind of seeing the, the the entrails here of this match. Again, look at that tank still alive back there. That guy knows what he's doing. I mean, that's how you win these matches. We're not trying to take this position. And we don't really have to. And look at this. Look at how zoomed in here. It's just kind of fun to sit back here and like watch these matches. Sometimes they're like, all right, which one's going to win? I, I'm betting my guy's going to win this one. Or I bet the, the enemy will probably win that one because he's in a better position, you know. Or, or just kind of need to sit back and watch that unfold, you know. You're like, 
you know you you can basically see exactly what's going to happen. It's interesting to watch it. And again, you're 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 live in the action here. You know, it's just, it's neat. I mean, look at all that smoke and everything. God, late this this game. Um, what else did I want to say? I'm drawing a blank here. The Mav again. Just don't try to do the road kills with it. I see guys doing that and they keep saying to me yeah you can run up there and if you get enough momentum and speed going you can do it and I think it, again you'll see me here shortly try and attempt that uh, it's just it's ugly <laughs> it's not what it's designed to do and uh, it, it's just a distraction more anything it takes away from the purpose of it um, really you just want to sit back try not to get shot at too much you see I'm trying to buzz into this guy it's just, just ugly it's not what it's intended to do like, well, you gotta get more speed, you gotta get a different angle. Well, you know, if you keep screwing around doing that, again, that's not, you're gonna, you're gonna basically waste time, lose points, and, um, as you can see, I think that the tank there was probably getting frustrated I wasn't spotting anybody, he started moving up, and he started taking more hits in it, and, uh, I think that, again, I think contribute that to my, uh, failing as a part of, uh, screwing around here a little bit. But this was pretty much my first match, really, using the Mavs, I was just kind of trying it out here to see what it was capable of. Uh, again, guys, run this class. Please, you know, if you're in my squad, if you're playing with me, somebody get this going, especially if they got the mortar on. Uh, it is vital to our success. success. You see this? Look at this. You can just see what's happening here. You know, you got a guy spotted. My teammate doesn't know exactly where he's at, but he knows he's, he knows he's up there. And this, oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Nice knife animation there through the blown up building. You're not going to see that in Call of Duty. Hell no, you're not. But uh, that's about all I got, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video here. Please subscribe if you like the video. Um, just put some footage out today about how to use the helicopter effectively. Watch that and also watch my videos about the M60 and uh, the montages I'll be having coming up. I got some epic footage. That's just beautiful. But it takes me a long time to compile that. So uh, it'll be coming up here soon. And hey, look for that video. Thanks for watching.